going to cover the steps on how to wire a GFI for a, a bathroom outlet that we're doing. And it's only one cable coming into this outlet, so we don't have another cable going on to another outlet down the circuit. So this is going to be very easy. And all of your GFIs are going to have a line and a load. And most manufacturers are going to tape off the load side. And this would be the hot and the neutral going on to another outlet down the circuit. So all we have to do for this outlet is we're going to remove the wires and we're going to connect the hot to the gold screw and the neutral to the silver screw. Always test the outlet before you start working on it. Either turn off the breaker or remove the fuse to the circuit you're working on. And so we tested the wires. It's off. And a couple things I don't like about how this was wired from the previous owner. One, you can see how the wire, the exposed wire is extending past the body of the outlet. And also they wrap this counterclockwise. It should be wrapped clockwise. So as you tighten the screw, it's going to tighten down on it. And what's great about GFI, especially in a bathroom, a kitchen, or outside, anywhere there's water, there's a chance of a shock or electrocution, and a GFI is your safety. It'll turn off in a fraction of a second if there's a problem. So all we're going to do is disconnect the two screws, and you're either going to have a black wire or a colored wire for your hot and a white wire for your neutral. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to straighten these out and then I'll strip this down and I'll only leave about three quarters of an inch. As I disconnected this from the old GFI, I noticed that this is an 18 gauge wire, very thin, and this is not recommended for a 15 amp circuit. So I'm going to take off this pigtail and you can see how much thinner this wire is. And we're going to get a, a short piece, a short whip of 14 gauge wire and we will add that to our whip to connect it to the new outlet. I created a pigtail with 14 gauge wire and this is the size you want for a 15 amp circuit which is the most common circuit in a house and we're going to just tie together the three neutral wires with a wire connector and we'll snug this down and now we have one wire that's going to be connected to the screw terminal for the neutral side. So the neutral side is going to go to the silver screw and I created a hook and with the hot side we're going to connect this to the brass side and you always want to connect the hook in a clockwise direction so that as you tighten down the hook it's going to tighten down the screw. If we were to wrap this counterclockwise it could actually push off. So we'll snug up the hot side, we'll connect the neutral to this side, and some of these outlets will have push-in terminals in the back, and we don't want to use those, they're not as secure, and this is going to give a much safer connection. I have the hot wire connected, the neutral, and I also connected the ground wire to the green screw on the side of the outlet here. Now we'll tuck the wires into the box and screw it into place. So for a GFI with one cable coming into it, very simple to install. And one thing you should do is test it once a month. And in this model, as you press the test, uh, a little LED light will show up red. And then to reset it, all you need to do is push it. So that's all there is to installing a GFI with one cable.